Hey there everybody, this is Shelly Girl. Welcome back to more Fairy Friends Record Fantasy Dark Force. Uh, in the last episode we beat uh, a mother bug thing to get fury and all was well in the world because ugh, those those things are pretty creepy now uh, that you mentioned a lot of them. But anyway, uh, this episode's a bit weird. Uh, basically I'm just putting the a little bit of the ending of the previous video in here, which I cut out for time purposes. And the fact that I didn't really like the commentary I did at the end of that. But basically, once you've finished the Kidnar area, and you go back to Selwyn City, you get a little cutscene in the shop which gives you the synthesize option. It's basically the remake system from the Rebirth games, except uh, from what I can tell, it's really just items and armor only. Uh, as far as I've seen just yet, there aren't any new places. But you can get, I think, new places only show up so the plot really demands it from when I can tell. So, I don't think there's going to be any new areas that you can make from the synthesis uh, stuff. But yeah, it's items and armor and stuff. If you make them, synthesize them, you're also able to get them in the shop. Uh, there's actually also recipes you can buy. There's three in the shop you can actually buy straight away. Other than that, there's the next cutscene which happens at the end. And well, I'm going to be doing a little bit more post commentary because uh, there is something I want to do before we head to the next area anyway, uh, which is a side quest thing and some gather revival, I believe. So, uh, yeah, enjoy me actually doing some commentary in a video for change. But anyway, I will see you for when I actually manage to do that. Welcome home. I've been waiting for you. I see, I see. So you're Fang. With a face like that, I'll bet you're pretty popular with the ladies. You think so? I'm much more handsome than he is. Hey, who the heck are you guys? What do you want? Name's Harley Harler, and this here's my fairy partner, Bahas. No need to treat us like a couple of suspicious criminals. Then don't do suspicious stuff, like barging into people's rooms without permission. Who cares about the details? I've got some nice information for you. 
information. Hey, is that a woman's voice? Wait, huh? Is something the matter? Oh my, a guest? Good timing. I was about to enjoy some tea and snacks right now. You girls are welcome to join me. You should be grateful. Not everyone gets to enjoy my delicious desserts. I have never tasted a tart this decadent before! My cheeks feel ready to fall off! Yay! It is delicious, isn't it? <laughs> I never lie when it comes to cooking! Mm -hmm. So good! So good! Oh man, this is so good! <laughs> hey, you're getting crumbs everywhere! Show some manners! Well, sorry! Sorry! <sighs> ah, ah. Oh, now you're just making more crumbs! That's it! Stop eating! Why don't you just chew on the table or something? What my? <laughs> you guys seem to be getting along. No, we're not! Now then, I've been hearing rumors about a lively group of young fencers that have been collecting furies like crazy lately. Those rumors you've heard must be about me. There's no other explanation. No, they must be about me! These two can't get anything done without my help. That's my line. If I weren't around, you two may as well not even exist. You guys. <laughs> you guys are pretty funny. I've been wondering what kind of fairies you have. Looks like coming here was worth it. Are you interested in fairies? Well, yeah. I'm a fairyologist. Fairyologist? Oh, thing. You don't even know what that is? There's still much we don't know about fairies. Fairyologists are researchers who study the biology of fairies. That's right. No matter where I go, I never neglect my fairy research. Gotcha. So, this one's your fairy? Hmm. Ah. Ah. I feel like she's undressing me with her eyes. Fairies are fascinating creatures. They form all kinds of different relationships with their human partners. They've been known to be friends, teachers, and even lovers. A human and a fairy? Falling in love? A love that surpasses everything. Even the boundaries between human and fairy. <sighs> How romantic! That's never gonna happen. Yeah, not in a trillion years. Boss likes to nag me like he's my mom. Hey, clean your room! Fold your clothes! Don't forget to brush your teeth! Only because you never look after yourself! You should be grateful that I cook and clean and do your laundry every day! Yeah, yeah, I'm super grateful. Anyway, why are you guys collecting the Furies? Do you have a wish you want granted? Of course! My wish is to break the Goddess's seal and bring peace to the world! I'm just looking for clues to Aaron's missing memories. Missing memories? Wait, are you saying you have no memories at all? Yeah? What a find! I've been researching fairies for years, but I've never met one that was missing her memories. Hey, Fang, wanna swap fairies? Huh? Huh? Harley, don't ask the impossible! There's no way I'd ever want him for a partner! Same here, I'll pass. I'll pass too. I feel like she wants to... Study me. I see. That's a bummer. Oh, I totally forgot. I have some good information for you. Apparently, one of the furies you guys are looking for is inside Shukesi's tower. Really? Then we should get going! Since I gave you some information, let me tag along. I'd like to thoroughly study how you guys work in the field. Huh? I don't really want that. Hey, Harley. There's gotta be a huge mystery surrounding a fairy who's missing her memories. Consider my interest peaked. Besides, I'm a fencer too. If you let me join you, I won't slow you down at all. I see. She might prove useful to me after all. Oh my, you're so reliable. I hope we all can get along. Same here. I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Ugh, these are hopeless. Hmm, with her knowledge of fairies, she might be able to help me find my memories. Oh well, I 
Yes, it's okay if she comes. But I can't believe we have to drag this old dude along with us. He's kind of... overwhelming. You guys better brace yourselves. I'll feed you delicious food every day until it finally kills you. Bring it on, Pops! And so here we have the tutorial for avalanche attacks. Basically when a per an uh, enemy's guard break goes down, then yet if your allies are like next to each other in turn order, then you actually get to gang up on that enemy for some serious damage. Um, also when guard break happens, um, they actually get a slight defense debuff when you use special attacks. So make sure you, that when you do do guard break, make sure you do it at that point. Um, also, yeah, well, I don't need to do Gather Revival just yet. We are actually going to be going to our side quest area, which is in the Castle Ice Caves, with Harley as the leader, wearing a net gear down head, because I feel like it. We're also going to get that ice from the back of the world, since we've not been able to get it, and this is probably the perfect time to do it. So these Neobacteroids, they're, they're, not as, uh, they're not as tough as they were, or the original one was that was scripted, and was doing like, no damage to it. Oh, there, are, there is three of them, and this is mainly the reason why I wanted um, waiting until we got Harley here. Um, because kind of wants us to have more people to attack, and having just Fang and Tiara on the, uh, here is just uh, not particularly. Uh, it takes a lot longer than this uh, fight, actually, that just basically shows the fight. Anyway, these guys, they like using Gags Magic. And I don't, I don't actually know any of the weaknesses or anything because I don't have the analysis skill just yet. We're actually going to be, uh, slight spoiler, we're actually going to be getting it in the next uh, video. Well, we're going to be learning of it. We're not really going to be using it because uh, of the effects that are going to be happening in that video. But, um, yeah. It's, it's good to have Harley around. Uh, she probably uses guns as a basic weapon, and she has, I believe she uses Earth Elemental Magic when you want to use Earth Elemental Magic. And I believe her other uh, her other magics also do, I think they do kill debuffs. Uh, well, Fang uses Fire Magic and has, I believe it has Physical Attack Up as a buff, while Tiara uses Water Magic and has Healing Buffs as well. She has Healing and uh, stat de not Stat Debuffs, she has... Um, Status debuffs. Not, not status debuffs, no. Status heals. Because I know she gets all the. Uh, she gets like healing, she, she kills poisons, things like that. So yeah. Kara's actually a great healer. Fang's, bit, Fang's more of a fighter, so really using magic. Really should only be used for if, some, if you figure out something's weak to fire. And to be honest, I, felt the same, I feel the same way with Harley. Uh, you're probably better off using more of our um, normal offensive. It's just like the problem with um, her base gun weapon, well, the, 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 the gun form of her fury is. Um, I've, actually, I've actually noticed it with uh, the other projectile you get here, which is bows, which uh, Chara gets eventually. And I believe another character who joins us later in the game actually also uses bows primarily. Um, is that. I've not really had the pet, I don't know if it's my parable luck or something, but they don't really have the best accuracy. So yeah. Also we probably noticed that uh, Harley actually starts with a ridiculous amount of range, I think she starts off at level 6. But uh, yeah, I think I've managed to, I think I've buffed, uh, used weapon boost on everybody uh, to get away with everything just fine. But yeah, as you can see, we're just wailing on these guys. We used uh, we used fire to get everybody done. Up, uh, I was hoping to. I believe I was actually hoping to um, use Harley's XE XC drive move, but because I have the times two um, SP usage on, I can't actually use it because it uses 500 SP and she doesn't even have that much max. So yeah, I'm kind of considering. I'm an airing about not having that uh, on, that using that specific fury unless I'm doing, unless I'm specifically grinding, because it's, it kind of hurts when I'm doing, when I'm having to deal with uh, 
like a dungeon for the first time. I mean, yeah, getting the uh, double the weapon points is really good, but just, uh, if I need to use ma if I need to use magic on a boss or anything, then it's just uh, not that great. It's also, the reason why I've been mainly using uh, regular attacks to kill everybody, I probably would have uh, taken a lot less. Uh, Time had I decided I wanted to use magic and text and stuff. So yeah, may, I'm considering u not using that particular fury in the future. But uh, yeah, escape from there. We're going to be using that, putting that fury to good use as well as the one that we got the last episode to do some uh, color revival. Again, we're going to go with the goddess because yeah, apparently uh, trying to awaken the fire god's a bad idea. Well, I know it's a bad idea, but eventually we are going to be running out of um, C we're going to eventually be running out of C rank uh, Furies to pull out of um, the Goddess here. By the way, Blaze Burst here. I believe I believe they are actually weak to uh, water, so I could actually use water text now because when you're in Gully Revival, you don't you aren't actually affected by um, Furies at all, like any Furies upon the ground. So I think it's just standing here. So I could just use tech, but I don't. I uh, believe the blaze bear can roar at you, and I know the similar kind of enemies later. Having, a build, having an ability called raw, and they, they do something to your SP, whether it's uh, do double um, usage or something, and increases the, the SP usage for that after, you be, after it's used. I actually don't know. But anyway, once, the base blur is actually the main fight of this particular fight. Once you've gotten those, the bees are no trouble at all. You can easily one shot them with a sim simple combo. Even Terra can. And her attack's not really the greatest. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's one sword pulled out. And we are also going to be doing the second one. Pretty soon. <laughs> You can tell I've actually just, like, not really got very much else to say here because I mean, Gully Revival, the thing with Gully Revival is that it's basically just mooks I mean, enemies that you probably fought before and they can be easily stomped on if you do everything right But yeah, I believe I have literally all of these two um, these two um, C ranks left I'm gonna go with the one with the physical attack, which I might just be using a lot more because uh, physical attacks are like, quite useful. So you might think the guy in the back is probably the biggest threat. It's actually not. It's actually the funny in here because this guy has an ability that I believe it causes confusion. The, the other guy just doesn't. I don't know, he doesn't really do anything. He just like runs into you for his attack and stuff, and it's like, yeah. Fang one shot him anyway, so not a problem. But anyway, that is it for this video. In the next episode, we'll be going to Shukasu's Tower. Where I'm actually not going to be doing any commentary for that because uh, it's that that particular area is basically cutscene. Really easy, really easy, really short fight. Cutscene, this, so on and so forth. And that, that repeats like three or four times. So yeah, that's going to be an episode where I'm actually not going to be doing any commentary on, so uh, there's that really. But anyway, that's it from me. Take care and I'll see you guys later. Ciao!